welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be looking at some powerful machines you've got to see. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Our first clip comes from ARJES, showing some satisfying metal shredding. This car was obviously out of order and needed to be recycled. While some cars can be crushed into small cubes, like is always depicted in movies and cartoons, this is not always the approach that is taken. Here, you can see that it is capable of shredding a variety of different vehicles, in this case, a van. Watch out the teeth of the shredder will change the direction that they're spinning so that they can better catch and shred the van. As the metal is shredded into small pieces, it's moved along a conveyor belt into a pile. This pile will get melted down and recycled. Up next from Liber, a ship-mounted excavator collecting silt from a lake bend. Most of the excavators that we get to see are massive tracked vehicles that work on a construction site. These, however, do not float very well. When an excavator is needed to be used offshore, a system such as this one can be employed. The rotating arm of the excavator is mounted onto the rear of the ship with significant reach and lift capacity. Though not commonly employed, they're most useful when you need to collect something in a shallow body of water. From Von Dom Drainage, a huge machine for routing drainage piping. The tool at the front of this vehicle acts like a cookie cutter, cutting underneath the ground. As it moves along, it inserts tubing underneath before neatly letting the soil settle on top. Look how effortlessly this machine cuts through the soil. More importantly though, you can see on the right side the tubing being fed underground. The man makes sure that the tube gets fed into the mechanism without any issues. Next, from Komatsu Mining, the Komatsu Continuous Miner. This machine is one of the most powerful and durable on our list. Using a spinning cutting head system, its teeth quickly cut through a rock wall, turning the solid stone into more manageable dust and debris. From Gomako, the process of concrete paving. They handle the entire process, from pouring to flattening. Hundreds of gallons of wet concrete need to be poured into pre-built frames. As this is done, a machine moves along and smooths the still malleable concrete into the flat road that it will become. Workers will continue to move along the poured road, making sure that there are no imperfections through adding additional concrete or sanding down the excess. From Lindsay, a road zipper on the Golden Gate Bridge. In certain regions, traffic can be quite dense at different times. Particularly for crossing this bridge, there are separate rush hours in both directions. Before rush hour comes, 
The road zipper moves these barriers from one side of the road to the other. When this occurs, a lane is removed from one side while one is added to the other, giving more room for traffic. I personally think it's pretty satisfying to watch it move all of those pieces in a wave. Out of Switzerland, the Colas Camion Lavage Tunnel being clean. Like everything else, tunnels tend to accumulate muck and grime that take away from the aesthetics of the location. Beyond looks though, it can also impede upon other things, such as lighting and maintenance, or otherwise detecting problems. Thus, having a machine specialized for cleaning these tunnels is necessary. The device in question is equipped with pressure washers and brushes connected to arms, to allow adjustability and precise cleaning. Next, from the Zanhandel Feist Group, the offshore unloading of earth onto a shoreline. This process has multiple parts to it, starting with the ship. This ship is equipped with a large storage unit that, of course, holds the dirt. Then, an excavator with a specialized bucket picks it up, bit by bit. The excavator then unloads onto a large conveyor, which itself drops the earth onto the shore a distance away from the ship. The Alps are the highest mountain range in Europe, mostly covered by glaciers. An excellent blower has been built to keep the railway going even in the winter. It took nine months for this monstrous machine to be constructed. 76 tons of steel are used for its body. Despite having a heavy frame, the machines operate to 100 km per hour and can be set up for rapid operation. It has two engines. One of them drives the entire machine, while the other is used to operate the blades. This spectacular machine ensures the removal of 10,000 tons of snow from the rail tracks in just one hour. The knuckle boom cranes by World Power make it easier to fold into a smaller size, but at the same time it can extend further to reach loads at a distance. With no compromise on work ethic, the knuckle boom cranes are designed in such a way to maximize workload with safety and efficiency. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.